Yo, what up, though? The Minnesota Vikings come back and beat the Arizona Cardinal 23 to 22. And this game right here, I thought the Vikings was over with. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. Kyler Murray was making plays. The defense looked like they couldn't stop Kyler Murray. The offense couldn't get nothing going throughout the whole game. But that interception Kyler Murray threw in the late third quarter changed the whole dynamic of this football game, y'all. That where the Minnesota Vikings got their mojo back, man. The Minnesota Vikings were down 19-6, I believe. Kyler Murray threw one of his famous interceptions to Brian Murphy on the sideline. And Brian Murphy caught the ball. And the Minnesota Vikings, I don't think they scored off that interception, though, but it still changed the momentum of the game because you could tell. And the Minnesota Vikings end up scoring the touchdown and end up taking the lead, man, 23-22. Man, Kyler Murray threw an interception in the third quarter, and he also threw an interception in the fourth quarter to end the whole NFL drive, man. It was over with, man. Kyler Murray could have went down there and scored a touchdown, but the Minnesota Vikings clipped that shit up threw that shit away and caught that interception, man. The Minnesota Vikings offense, they got they they started real slow today, man. Sam Darnold, he got going in the second half of this game. He ain't had no interception. The O-line ain't played too good today. He was sacked five times. The running game really was a non-existent. But Cam Maker did have a few good runs, and Sam Darnold had a few good runs too, though. But Kyler Murray don't gave, gave the Vikings everything they had, and they still came up short, man. Marvison Harris Jr., he scored a touchdown. He had 60 receiving yards. He had a good day in the air, man. But the Minnesota Vikings offensive weapons came alive. Justin Jefferson had 99 receiving yards on seven receptions. Jordan Addison, 54 receiving yards on four receptions, man. And Johnny Mutt got in there on a the touchdown. And Aaron Jones got in there, too, off of receiving touchdown. So the Minnesota Vikings playmakers did step up against the Arizona Cardinals. And this was a big game for the Minnesota Vikings, man, because the Minnesota Vikings are a game behind Detroit for the number one seed in the NFC, and they also a, a game behind for the NFC North. So every game from this point forward is very important for the Minnesota Vikings, man. I don't care how they won, they won. And the Minnesota Vikings offense came alive. They got – it was slow as hell for the Vikings offense. I'm not going to lie to y'all. That's in one of my main concerns about the Minnesota Vikings, man, and how slow the offense gets going, man. But the offense did get going after the after the defense had no, no, no crucial interception to get the ball back to the Minnesota Vikings, man, and the Vikings cashed in. And the Vikings win today against the Arizona Cardinals. Ooh, this was a good game. But y'all let me know in the comment section below, man, like, what would y'all like? What would y'all grade this game out of the Minnesota Vikings as a whole for real? Because they did go down 19 6 against the Arizona Cardinals, but they did come back and beat the Arizona Cardinals. But overall, though, the Minnesota Vikings played good, man. To me, the Arizona Cardinals is a good football team. I don't care what they record say. I like the Arizona Cardinals. But the Minnesota Vikings, they came out to play, man. They won by one point, one point or 100 points, man. At the end of the day, in the NFL, a W is a W. And the Minnesota Vikings moved to 10 and 2. And we about to see what happened in the uh, Philly and Baltimore game, too. This is an important game, too, for the Minnesota Vikings. Because if Philly lose, that would get Philly three losses on the season already. And the Vikings only had two. So that's something to look out, too, though. But, hey, at the end of the day, y'all, the Vikings are 10 and 2, man. On to who? The Atlanta Falcons next? Yes, sir. The Atlanta Falcons net and Kirk O'Chain coming back to Minnesota. That's going to be a game.